we see in our first reading, brothers and sisters, the description of the fall. And it's interesting that spiritual writers will talk about when is the moment that Eve sinned. So we see four stages, if you would, in this encounter that she's having with the serpent. The first is just simply the conversation. At that point, Eve has not sinned. She could simply just stop the conversation and stop listening. But she decides to listen. And then the second stage is she begins to desire what it is that the serpent is offering. Again, she hasn't sinned yet. But she could still stop the conversation. She could still stop. And yet, the temptation is growing stronger. Now, it's not explicit in the text, but at some point, she probably is thinking, in the third stage, she's probably thinking of a way she can get away with this. How can she get away with this? How can she hide this? That's the third stage, the temptation. Again, she hasn't sinned yet. The temptation is, though, much, much stronger, and it's much harder to break. The fourth time, or the fourth stage, is when she decides, yes, she's going to do this. And there she has sinned. Whether she actually does the deed or not, by deciding, yes, I want to do this, she sinned. So it reminds us, brothers and sisters, that the process of temptation is something we have to be aware of and that we want to guard against. You know, it's the easiest thing that the spiritual writers say is basically to not listen to the temptation of the devil, to basically tell him to talk to the hand, or to answer back with a scripture passage to basically shut the mouth of the devil. And yet, we want to make sure that we understand the difference between temptation and sin. Numerous times as I'm listening to folks in confession, I can tell sometimes they're confessing as sins, times of temptation. And yet, the question is, when has the will said yes? You know, the immediate time that something occurs to one's thought is the beginning of a temptation. And so what we can do is, in that moment, we have a chance to brush it aside and to to stop it. And when that happens, that's not sin. The mere fact that something arose or something came up for a brief moment is not sin. It's when we stop, look at it, say, yeah, I think I'm going to invite that to stay in my thoughts for a while that we've actually engaged in entertaining the thoughts. And that is the mere occasion of sin, and in and of itself, a sin itself. But we we want to see that it's necessary for us to actively engage the decision, our will. So, we ask the Lord today to be with us at all times, To help us to know ourselves, to know the processes of temptations that we can go through, to be able to see when we're just being tempted, and for him to give us the strength that we need to say no, and when we're actually deciding to stay in the temptation or or deciding to, to actually actively will what's going on. Amen.